Fallout 4 is just months away, which will likely speed by faster than we realize. With release approaching, Bethesda has revealed some of its plans for post-launch support. As you might expect, there will be DLC coming down the road. Add-ons will start to appear in early 2016, but details are sparse right now. A season pass will be available for $30, with a guarantee that it will save at least $10 for those who purchase it. We've known that mod support is coming for PC, with circulated sections coming to Xbox One after. We now know that PlayStation 4 users will be getting those same mods, but sometime after they hit Xbox One. The creation kit won't be available on PC until early 2016, so don't expect these to start flowing to console for a number of months. Finally, Bethesda says it will be tapping the community for its own post-launch updates. The developer references its work enhancing Skyrim with mounted combat, kill cams, and legendary mode as examples of what might be coming for Fallout 4. The company says it will listen to the community to help direct its efforts. We still don't know much about Fallout 4, and that's by design. Bethesda is keeping story and gameplay out of our hands for now, in hopes that players get to discover it themselves. We'll be exploring Boston's Wasteland together come November 10th on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. This game will be massive and epic. I mean, people have been waiting on this since... Jeez, how far back has it been since... Well, they've kind of been waiting on it since Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas came out. I mean, people were wanting a next actual number chapter in the Fallout franchise to come out. And and Bethesda is trying to make sure not to disappoint because as it says in an article right here, they're going to be listening to the community and help it and uh, listen to the community to help in it direct its efforts to try and make this an awesome game. Now in this article we're going to have we have like stuff that's going to be post launch plans as far as like DLC, uh, the creation kit stuff, and the actual mods themselves. The, the mods are coming to PS4 now, but it's going to be coming sometime after the Xbox One gets it. Now we know, now there's stuff about the Xbox One version it's supposed to get either Fallout 3 or maybe it might be backwards compatible with Fallout 3 with the Fallout 4 game. And there is going to be an actual season pass for the game now, which, oh my god, that's going to have, that's probably going to have a lot of content in it. I just wish they would have announced, I, I still wish Bethesda would have announced a Skyrim HD Legendary Edition or something. Or at least, you know, said that they are working on the next Elder Scrolls. But now their focus, their main focus, is going to be on Fallout 4. I'm sure once they get Fallout done, completed, and everything set for the DLC, they can probably then work on whatever project they want to do next, whether it is going to be in Elder Scrolls, or if it's going to be maybe some maybe previous like HD game, which I don't know if they'd want to backtrack or not. It would, keep, it would kind of seem pointless, but then again it wouldn't. And of course we all know that Fallout 4 is coming out on November 10th, the same date as the Rise of the Tomb Raider, but that game's only come out for the Xbox One for now. I think, I think Xbox One and Xbox 360. But Fallout 4 is coming out November 10th for Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Which hopefully the PC version won't have any issues. Not like what happened with Batman Arkham Knight. 